What is up, YouTube? Gunigan here, back at another career re-simulation, and today it is none other than the White Mamba. Yes, you heard that right, the White Mamba, Brian Scalabrini. Back in the NBA as a rookie, I put him in a draft class, but before we get started, you guys know what you gotta do, smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. But let's go back into his past, or a little bit into his past, or just when he was drafted, stuff like that, I'll give you a little few, few statistics. Six foot nine inches tall, drafted in 2000, what was it? 2001 with the second round pick, 34th overall, meaning he was the fourth pick in the second round. An absolute legend of the game with insane, insane awards and accolades, as you can see right here. He's a, you know, NBA champion. That's that's pretty much it. With career averages of 3.1 points, 2 rebounds a game, 0.8 assists, point three steals, point two blocks, unmatched. A player that is completely unmatched, a legend of the game, and time to see if he could even break these records. 6.3 points in a season? Unheard of. So let's hop into the game here. We are pretty much right before the NBA draft, and we can go ahead and look where he is going to fall. Mock drafts, of course, we got to go to the second round because they don't know our value. Our true value is of a superstar. To the Bulls? Interesting. I did lower his age, by the way. He is a 20 year old rookie just to give him a few more years to be able to improve that on that that potential of his give him a little boost as in give him a few more seasons for him to improve because you know he's gonna be a superstar his ceiling is marvin williams and his floor is bench not even a player like the physical bench just to go into some of his strengths, he looks to be the best out sh outside shooter in the draft. Let's go. His tremendous court vision allows for a lot of easy baskets. He's got the vision. He's got the shooting. Cerebral. Very cerebral. Can, can expect his game to grow a lot as he matures. Let's go. Below average shot blocker. Okay. We're, we're not, it's not what we're known for. We don't need to do that. Bad is the best way to describe his ability to steal the ball. Wow. Well, I mean, so. And vertical could be better. Second jump is straight up. <laughs> God. Why they gotta do us like that, man? And we, of course, we passed our physical or else we wouldn't be in here. And I guess we can wait and see. But for Draft Express, we're 44th going uh, to the Bulls and then anywhere else. Are, are we higher? Are we higher than 44th anywhere? And NBA.com, where does NBA.com have us at 40? No, I, I was I didn't paying attention. I just went down to 40. Wait, are we not on here? Did I skip? Are we higher? Oh, we are higher. 40 seconds. So we are expected to get drafted. Best shooter in the draft. And now we wait for the second round. We're most likely going to get drafted uh, somewhere in the 40th pick area. So we got to go ahead and fast forward to... Oh, what the heck? Oh, we are the 76ers. I got to control some team during this. So I guess we go with Nafali. Um, I don't think they would have gone with Brian. No harm done there, but let's see. Please pick us. Pick us soon. We can't go undrafted. There's no way we go undrafted, right? Let's go. We're going to Minnesota with the 36th pick in the 2020 NBA draft. The Minnesota Timberwolves select Brian. They just got a star. They just got themselves a star and they don't even know it. And a 10-man rotation. We're not getting minutes quite yet. I mean, it's to be expected with the Angelo Russell, Isaac. They drafted Isaac, I guess, with the ninth overall pick. They got Josh Okoji. They uh, signed Bobby Portis. Town's still here. They signed Roberson. They got Omari Spellman, James Johnson, Tyrese as well with the 16th overall pick. So they got a few picks in this draft. A lot of youth alongside the White Mamba. We're a 73 overall somehow. But since we are a second round pick, we got ourselves a two-year contract. They might just let us go after this first season. We'll see, though. I mean, we're a 74 overall technically at 20 years old. Like, why wouldn't they throw us that second-year contract? But anyways, first season, not even going to get a chance to win Rookie of the Year. They're sleeping on us. They're sleeping on us. I did give him an untapped potential, and we'll see what that makes him improve to in the offseason. First season of the White Mamba. Hopefully, we don't even get minutes. That way, we could technically still win Rookie of the Year, right? But I'm sure we'll be thrown in there in some type of garbage minutes or when we're getting blown out. Year one, Giannis takes it. I mean, it's uh, between these few first few seasons, it's always Giannis. It's always Luka. And then we get like one of the new rookies out here, like an Anthony Edwards winning MVP out of nowhere. Um, But he wins rookie of the year. Dennis wins six-man defensive player. Goes to Kawhi Ivica. 
Most improved? What did he do last season? Oh, he only put up eight and seven. I mean, I guess. I guess uh, Mike Budenholzer wins a coach of the year. And I'm hoping we got absolute. We, uh, please, zero minutes. Give us zero stats. Nothing, nothing to show for. Nothing to show for. Meaning... Are we still rookies? So technically, a player that's injured gets zero stats all across the board, zero minutes. Can we still win Rookie of the Year next season? That is my question. Didn't make the playoffs, not surprised, to be honest. And then I hope we kind of don't stay with Minnesota because a lot of the times, Minnesota in these Sims doesn't do too well rebuilding their team. They don't do too well. They don't have some type of generational talent draft pick like Anthony Edwards or something like that. And the Suns just won it because they got anthony edwards i didn't even pay attention to that a fourth they went they went from lottery team to fourth overall in the western conference to champions year one with anthony edwards well that's kind of scary well that is kind of scary we're gonna go see if they pick up our option or are we on a different team already i hope not player progression we'll jump straight to it where do we go from a 74 overall i mean a 78 overall that would be insane four how much do we go up? How much do we go? We're not even here. We're, we are here. Oh, my gosh. We're here for at least another season. 77 overall, Brian Scalabrini. Do we get minutes now? No minutes again? Yeah, you're out of your mind. Uh, we could. We could. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We're one of the top shooters already, and they don't want to play us. They don't want to give us minutes. Player stats, give us those zeros. Give us those zeros. You better not have wasted his rookie season. No. <laughs> he played. They put him in. He's averaging half a turnover per game. <laughs> All right. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. So far, we're living up to that prediction of the, the floor that we have. And we're pretty much the bench. The physical bench he should improve enough this offseason do they bring us back or are we on a different team we would be a restricted free agent right player progression did they keep us are we back we're not even in here we're not even in here did another team sign us or are we gonna be like bougie and be asking for too much money and we're still in free agency we are on the cavaliers am i happy about this i don't know but they have a decent t i mean i mean it's kind of decent right rj hampton's gonna be solid drummond's a solid center um they look like they don't have a four unless they want to start kelly Oubre jr but they're probably gonna start him a small forward have kevin porter off of the bench they got brunson as a backup point guard and i want y'all to guess brian scalabrini averages half a turnover Finally gets minutes, averages half a turnover a game. Um, I don't know how many games he played, but tell me, how much money would you pay a player that just came off a season of averaging half a turnover? That's it. No points, no rebounds, half a turnover. How much money would you give him? Let me know real quick in the comments if you want to. But here we go, $17 million for one season and he's done nothing in the NBA. Nothing. What an absolute legend. Well, we are already on our second team and only our third season in the NBA. And where are we? So Larry Nance is starting at an 80 overall. I don't think he's going to continue to improve too much more. And we're getting 21 minutes a game as the eighth man. We're mad. We're mad. We want more minutes. Why are we so sad? Honestly, I don't see why I would listen to offers. I wouldn't listen to offers from other teams this season. Somewhat loyal, financial security is important, extremely important to play for a winner, feeling disturbed about everything that's been happening. Third season, we already got a new MVP. I like it. We've had a new MVP every season. So it's been Giannis, Luka, now Trey Young. Will Trey Young win a championship now since, uh, well, technically Devin Booker won the first year. So it wouldn't make sense if the MVPs just continued winning the uh, championship. It would be cool. But Mikey Williams is the rookie of the year. Ball, ball, sixth man, defensive player, Anthony Davis. Shake Milton, most improved coach of the year, Luke Walton. What? Trey Young, most improved. Wait, he won most improved as well? Or was that MVP? That was most valuable. I'm tripping. New team, new direction. We're here with Cleveland. Minnesota still hasn't made the playoffs, so I'm glad we're gone from there. Cleveland, the sixth seed over here in the Eastern Conference with 49 wins. That's not too bad. Player stats, guess, guess, yes. 11.3 points, four rebounds, 2.3 assists, and how many minutes? 
efficiently as well 47 percent 46 almost 47 percent from three-point land we didn't get invited to the three-point contest by the way i'm hoping i'm hoping soon in 24 minutes in 24 minutes we put up 11 points our per 36 would be almost 17 and 6 with three assists like you're telling me we wouldn't produce well on any team in the league we're out here we're a shooter a great passer for a big man like come on give my man the minutes give my man the minutes how will he do in his first in his first nba playoff appearance let's go let's go simulate with simcast and then simulate game am i cheesing the system by doing this oh my gosh that's crazy that's crazy simulate the come on come on come on oh we did come back from a 3-0 deficit we'll look at the box score to see if we went off in any of these games in the first in the first game, we go off for 21. Give us more minutes. Six of seven, five of five from the free throw line, and four and four from the three-point line. Are you kidding me? And then we go off for 23 points, and they won't give us more minutes than 25 so far. Then we put up 18. Okay, we got 26 minutes. Dude, Scalabrini, Brian, the White Mamba is an absolute beast. 17, 6, and 2. And then finally, kind of a bad game for us. 9, 5, and 3 for game 6. And then game 7, what did we do? What did we do? Another bad game. So bad game 6, bad game 7. We kind of let the team down. Per 36, we would average 22. 15 points in the playoffs. 4 rebounds, 3 assists. We improved. And didn't miss a free throw. Oh my, he's going to be a legend. He's going to be a legend. So two years in a row, the MVP has won the championship. Impressive. Kind of sucks for Giannis because he did it, I'm pretty sure. All right, so the Cavs didn't sign us back. We were in free agency to start the season, which kind of really sucks. Um, but the Pacers picked us up for a minimum like one point something million when Brian wanted 30 something million because, you know, he's still kind of young. He's in the 80s over. He's in the 80s now. But this team doesn't look bad. Mikey's going to be uh, going to be great. They might need a better shooting guard in the future. They still got TJ Warren here. So bonus is an 86 overall. Valentunas, not a horrible team, right? But then you look at the bench. There is a power forward, Julius Randle, a power forward, Brian, a power forward, Dumbuya, and a small forward, power forward. Wait, no, is he? Yeah, he's a small forward, power forward, Jalen Johnson. Um, sick bench you got there, Indiana. Scalabrini getting 27 minutes a game. Getting paid $1.85 million, which really, really, really sucks. Two badges on Hall of Fame. Did he get another one in shooting? I'm pretty sure he got another one in shooting. Three seasons actually playing three different teams. Oh, we made the playoffs. Okay, let's just check our statistics really quickly. Third leading score. Third leading score, not a starter. Third leading score, not a starter. Brian Scalabrini, 14.4, 4.9 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 1.1 steals. What they say about our steals, that we were horrible at getting steals. Per 36, we'd average 1.5 and 1.1 blocks. Like, that's decent enough. Sure, we could get a little bit more rebounds for the power forward spot, but our ability to stretch the floor, unmatched. 52% from the field. 50% from three and almost 90. So almost a 50 50 90. Not a 50 40 90. 50 50 90. He needs to find a team where they can start. He needs to find a team where he can start. Uh, he's going to ask for a lot of money, which teams probably are not going to have. And then we're going to struggle finding a team. So, but I'm hoping somebody, I'm hoping somebody out there gives them that. My Bulls win the NBA championship. They got LaMelo Ball putting up 36 and 12. Holy crap. We get a contract with the team that in real life. Drafted him, signed him, and we are here. The third best player on the net. We're definitely starting. There's no way we do not start. A three plus one. We got ourselves the bag. 26 million, 28, 29, 30 mil. And we're up to an 86 overall while only being 24 years old. I don't know when his peak start is and his peak end, meaning when he, you know, reaches his peak and then, at the, and then when his peak starts declining. So we'll see how long he lasts in the NBA. I'm guessing a lot more seasons. We've only been here three or getting minutes for three. Now that we're a starter, I'm hoping we get invited to the three-point contest. Oh, man, I was hoping for a most improved player award. We weren't invited again to the three-point contest contest when we should be Jaden hardy he went he okay he went up he went a good amount from 12 to 20 but wait till you see us wait till you see us we're the fifth seed i don't know if they signed anybody else during the season player stats though second leading score behind kyrie irving we're averaging 20 points a game six rebounds three assists 1.5 steals one block like he's incredible 
and he's only gonna get better and he finally has a team unless they trade him away of course but i mean at that point we still have a contract so that's great to see brooklyn nets another seven game series that's three in a row the suns win it again so that's their second in like four seasons anthony edwards this time the finals mvp and now at least we know at least we have a home at least we have a home it's only the following season and guess what ladies and gentlemen we are in the three-point contest i didn't check who else was in it but we'll see right now as they wait here uh there he is white mamba lebron james jr lamello ball uh Jaden mcdaniels oh but we go first we're averaging 27 during the season <laughs> the actual white mamba i'm gonna put it on my last rack just so I get used to his, I guess, release during the whole way. Oh, my God. That's butter. That's butter. That's butter, baby. Are you kidding me? It's done. Uh, I, I like how he said it's butter, but I only made two. There we go. There we go. There we go. Buckets. Buckets. Okay, good. Make the money balls. Make the money balls. We're not doing too hot, even though we only missed one on that one. We're not doing too hot. Let's see this middle rack. Middle rack. I don't know where he's best from. Where his hot zones are. But then again, it's the white mamba. He doesn't have any cold zones. Will he make two on that one as well? Oh, boys. We struggling. Oh, that was bad. That was bad too. I only missed one on that rack when I had the worst releases. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I'm so inconsistent with him. Why? <laughs> 18 points. I hope that's enough for the second round. We're in the second round, which is great. I don't know when we're going, though. I did not pay attention to these scores. I'm not going to lie, but this is Khalil Whitney. Um, I'm pretty sure LaMelo made it, I think. Well, the, the score to beat was 17. You know, we got 18, so we'll see. Hopefully, we do better. Got to pay attention to what score we got to beat, though. We're up next. Whitney just got... That's how you say his name, right? Khalil Whitney? Whitney? White me? I don't know, but I don't know where to put my rap. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to put it in the middle. We got to get 17, though. 17 to beat him. And we just got to do this. I'm going to pay attention. I'm trying. I'm trying, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. It, like, lags. Come on. Oh, we made four in a row, though. What the heck? Bro, I swear. It's like a different release every time. There's one. Come on. Come on. Keep going, baby. Keep going, baby. Give me those. That's why I put that in the middle. Keep greening, baby. Put up a high score. Win this championship. Win this three-point contest. We got 18. We already tied a score from last round. And we got to beat this one right here. Yes. Come on. We got to make this one. Bang. Bang. 22 points. Four out of five from our money ball rack. I like it. I like it. I think LeBron James Jr. is the last one to go. And we are three-point contest winners, champions, and now we see him stand there in the middle, all awkward. I love it. Hey, he actually had some emotion. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, let's go. The last time I did a, a simulation, they just stand there. Yo, that's the first time I've ever seen that. And I've done like a couple three-point contests with players. Kyrie's there, Brian's there. Let's freaking go. He's an all-star. Brian Scalabrine, an absolute specimen. Does he win most most improved? Does he win most improved? LeBron James Jr., MVP, Jason, Aug August, Augustine, Augustine, uh, Rookie of the Year, Tyrese wins six-man defensive player, Giannis, Jaden Hardy again. He won it again? Back-to-back -back season? That's supposed to be us. You're stealing. You're Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Lloyd Pierce, 63 and 19. <laughs> 26.3 points per game, an all-star appearance, a three-point contest winner, 47%, 48% from the field, 97% from the free throw line, and eight rebounds. His rebound is get his rebounding is getting so much better. His assisting is at three, 1.5 steals, 1.3 blocks. He's just becoming a superstar. He's becoming the superstar he was always meant to be, and he was in real life. Come on, bro. White Mamba absolute physical specimen of a player the epitome of a basketball player we're not in the playoffs oh lebrain jones mike conley kevin love stephen curry whoa that's a lot of that's a lot of players man lebron steph curry retired together 
off into the sunset. <laughs> it will be a sad day, man. We have made our way onto a new team. We are with the Nuggets. But the good thing is the Nets gave us some good seasons. I think two-time, uh, one-time All-Star, but three-time All-NBA member during that time. Last season, we only averaged 21 and 9 compared to 26. They did have more offense in the team, still sucked, and didn't make the playoffs. But three great seasons with them. Uh, added to his accolades, two-time second-team All-NBA member, one-time third-team All-NBA, and one-time all-star he's a stud he's a 90 overall i don't know if he's gonna get much better than a 90 overall but he's now with the nuggets who won the championship two seasons ago we move on to a new team which to me look promising but we still suck and we're not in the playoffs scalbrini you need to get more minutes to the white mamba he's here for a four year for for four years four years of torture we're finally back in the playoffs. Fourth seeded Denver team. They signed, I'm pretty sure, uh, Greg Brown or something uh, from free agency. He was still out here. Yeah, they gave him a 2.17 million. Um, for that reason, I was like, wait, we're going to not play power forward anymore. They're going to start him or something. But I don't think so because they just moved us to small forward since that's our secondary position. I don't know how good we would play defense. Shoot, Brian's, I mean, his defense ain't too too hot. Um, did we get past the second round? We do for the first time in a minute. I mean, hopefully they win another championship. I don't know. San Antonio, Nico, Bradley Beal, and old Bradley Beal, right? 35-year-old Bradley Beal, Alex Atatukumpo, Isaiah Stewart, Carl Anthony Towns. What a team. Goons, I don't know about this one, man. I don't know about this one. I don't think we're going to get past this uh, San Antonio team. You guys saw their team. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of nice. I, I just combined nice and nuts together, and it sounded really weird, but we're not getting past this. We're not getting past this. Scal, I don't think if I don't know if he's gonna get a championship. Would you give up your one ring for uh these other accolades that we're accumulating? Even though we're not really accumulating, it only happened between like three seasons, but they won it. We lost to the champs. Last season with the Nuggets, at least last seat last contract, uh, we're making 30 something million. And we go somewhere else. Does does he decide to stay here? Uh, if he if he's truly looking to play for a winner, he shouldn't stay here. No other all-star appearance, but it's run by all the youth now. And they're not even young. They're 29, 28. We're 28, 29, 30. I forget how old we are already, but Nicola makes it. But where are we? Brian, 30 years old. When does he retire? When does he start declining? Because he's a 91 overall. I don't see him improving too much. Maybe to a 92. Maybe, maybe big, maybe to a 93. But... Not going to make the playoffs this season. Does he go to a different team? Look at Scalabrini joining the Lakers for one season. Jackson Hayes is out here. You know 2K ruins Jackson Hayes, and he's probably shooting 30-something percent. Yep, 39% for... Ugh, ugh, disgusting. BJ Boston. Uh, we got Brian, of course, us. We're following his career, re-simulating his career. He's still improving in some areas, and he's 31 years old. Luke Walton is the head coach for the Lakers. Ugh. We're only getting 28 minutes a game, so we're going to make myself the first scoring option because we're only here a season. BJ Boston should probably be the first scoring option, but screw it. We're going to go ahead and make the most of our time here. One year with the Lakers, and we're, nothing's probably going to happen. Ah, drink your water, boys. We actually finished with a decent record. I did not expect it. I'm going to say it's because of the White Mamba, though. Um, imagine that, though. The Lakers... They already had the black mama. Now they got the white mama. 20 points a game, 6.8 rebounds, 2.8 assists, 1.4 steals, one block. He's a, he's a great scorer. He's a great player. 45 and 37. We're about to sweep. Okay, maybe not sweep that. Oh, yeah, we are. We, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Just keep saying yes. And we did it. We swept. We're into the second round now up against a number one seeded team. Um, see? Yo. Yo. We don't have that great of a team. I haven't even looked at my stats, if I'm being honest with you, but win it at home. Win it at home. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not winning it at home. Oh, this sucks. Can they pull it off? Simulate the next game. We're away, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The pressure is on. They win the first round. As long as you stay close, stay close. Bro, don't give up that lead. Let's go, easy bucket for Scal. Yeah, well, I mean, it was well fought. They were a number one seed that was ridiculous. We took them to seven games, and Zion put up 50 and 20. 
a historic performance to get him to don't know if scout's ever gonna get a championship i don't think so it's getting kind of late in his career 91 overall right 90 92 overall scout 32 years old i don't see him retiring anytime soon but i do see him starting to decline on to a different california team scalabrini goes down one his inside game gets worse and i think it's time I think it's time that he starts getting old, starts declining, and you know time is undefeated. Wait one damn second. I did not expect him to get to the finals in the first season with the Warriors. He's averaging 20 points a game. How good are these nets? They're the fourth seed. We're the third seed. Uh, 86 overall, 92, 90, 99. Zion, can you not? You dropped 50 and 20 on us last season with a different team. Why are you following us? 50, 40, 90, almost 50, 50, 90. Like efficiency, efficiency. You look it up in a dictionary, you look, you see my man. You see my man, the white mamba, and we take him. He's gonna win a championship. He's gonna do it. Please, Zion, just choke, bro. How do we go up 2-0? How do we go up 2-0? This is our best chance. This is our best chance at a championship. There's no way Zion goes to a different team and just wins a... Oh, come on, please. Yes. Yes. It's over. Big scale with the ball. The White Mamba wins an NBA championship. Look at him. Look at him. Breaking his vertical jump record right there. Cole Anthony, thank you for the carry. Thank you for the carry, but I mean, we probably did our thing. We were averaging 20 this entire playoffs. Scal puts up 15 and 12 in this uh, clinching game, goes five for 10, and he wins a championship. Now we don't have to compare if he would if he would trade away our accolades for his in real life because now we got a ring for him. Cole Anthony, thank you. The White Mamba from Community College to USC to legend, to absolute legend of the sport of basketball. Brian Scalabrini, 2033 NBA champion, 2026 all-star, two-time second team All-NBA, two-time third team All-NBA, and just an absolute stud of a player. I, I didn't think we'd be able to do better than his real life stats. Because his real life stats are just of are, are just legendary stats. We did better though. He had some really great seasons. He retires 14 year pro at the age of 37 years old. Does he make the Hall of Fame? I don't think so. It would be great, but he doesn't. He does not. Does somebody retire our jersey? Come on, man. We won, we won a championship. We don't get our jersey retired. He scores 22,077 points. Oh, he did not make the top 100, but he, he was close. He was close, not in the top 100. He reached a, like a 93, 92 overall for his highest. Um, did he make the three-point? How many three-pointers did he make? He is in the top 25 of three-pointers ever. In front of Carl Anthony Towns, in front of Cade Cunningham, Shea Gills, and in front of all these young guys. In front of Damian Lillard, in front of Kyrie, Bradley Beal. Notable, notable players. He's up here. Is he up here in free throws made considering he barely missed any? But I don't know if he was, he, he got to the line a lot. His number is 22,000 points, 8,670 rebounds, 3,000 assists, 1,500 steals, 1,200 blocks. Three pointers made, you guys saw. 4,372, top 25 in that category. NBA champion. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. Like I said, would you like to see next? If you got any other challenges you'd like to see. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.